Nick DeSalvo. I play guitar and I'm the singer of the band Elder. We're from originally Boston, Massachusetts, but now we're kind of spread all around Europe and the northeast of the states. And right now we're on tour in Europe and the UK, and we're stopping off in Sheffield to play a festival called Stoner vs. Doom. And we met up with our friends at Hiwat to talk a little bit about amps, music, hang out, have a couple beers, and uh, enjoy the festival together. So we're here at Record Junkie, a cool record store. It's a music shop below. We're just kind of perusing around. Our band kind of started as a stoner and doom outfit in the vein of the more well-known bands of the genre, something like Sleep, Electric Wizard, even I Hate God, some sludge influence, and as time progressed, we moved on to have a more classic rock sound, a more progressive sound, a more psychedelic sound, kind of bringing in elements from less monotone sort of uh, stoner and doom uh, influences. And with that, our taste in equipment has changed as well, and one of the things that ended up drawing me to High Watt was our interest in a lot of classic rock bands of the 70s that played the amps, and most particularly Pink Floyd, with uh, Gilmore being a, a big influence musically. And High Watt amplifiers ended up being my gear of choice for my guitar sound almost by coincidence. Um, I was familiar with the brand, but being from the States, it was often hard to come by one, let alone be able to afford it. And, uh, you know, you might see one in like the music shop window, but you know that was inaccessible. A friend of mine sold me an old Sound City amplifier that uh, another legendary guy in, in the Boston, you know, tech underground had modded to sound like a DR-103 with some extra gain at the end. And I ended up testing the amplifier and absolutely fell in love with it and used this for many years with the sort of background knowledge that the holy grail for me was going to be actual high watt amplifier. And so as years went on, finally I ended up being able to acquire both a 103 and a DR504 for the arsenal and have never looked back really. It's become kind of the signature sound for Elder for my guitar and for all of the records basically, um, barring the very first one from 2007. The band, you know, we, we like to cover a lot of territories, as much territory as we possibly can, going from, you know, really chunky riffs that we kind of started the band uh, with, that was the backbone of the whole Elder uh, paradigm. It's very heavy and slowly started expanding our arms into more weird directions. And with that, you need a little bit more versatility from an amplifier that I had a really hard time getting out of something, you know, that's more traditionally heavy, you know, an orange or a Marshall or something like that. Great amps, but I just had a difficult time reining in all these sort of different sounds and uh, the ability to go from clean to dirty, you know, get amp break up and then be able to roll it back and get something really pristine out of it. And maybe by way of sheer stupidity, I just started always playing with my with Sound City and then with my high watt completely dimed. Uh, and using a volume pedal to kind of attenuate the volume and the level of distortion. I found that this is something that hardly ever works with other amplifiers with the same degree of success because the high walk can really clean up nicely from a super gritty but warm and just beautiful fuzz tone that I've really never found in another amplifier uh, to very clean and very uh, you know great for atmospheric or you know, just less heavy parts and that's uh, something that I've just kind of fell in love with and never really looked another way. So it's basically my whole association with High Watt until we met the guys in the company now. Uh, just last year we started talking before a festival appearance over in Berlin at Desert Fest. And luckily it seems that we have some fans over there too. So we were able to meet up, talk a little bit about how the amps are being made and what the 
new management of the company is doing right now, what the new direction is, and uh, it's been a really cool partnership so far, and we're hoping to expand the arsenal as much as humanly possible.